Hey everyone, it's Wynn Saldani with an update on July 15th. It's around 6.40 p.m. Eastern Time uh, on the 2019 Chicago Yacht Club Race to Mackinac. Um, I have the tracker up here, and uh, I guess I, my main theme for this is going to be it ain't over. Um, you know, we talked a lot today about the line honors winners, about the big boats coming in, about the cruising boats coming in. I had lots of great interviews and lots of great discussions, but there's by my estimation, 150 something boats still out there, um, hard to believe. Um, but just to give you an idea, just this pack right here is about 50 boats. Uh, I counted it a little bit earlier, this pack right here. that came around the uh, um, this White Shoal number one in about, I don't know, two, three hours ago, something like that. And these 50 boats, uh, lures are working great for me here, are in roughly a span of seven miles. That's a lot of boats in a very, very little di distance here. So there is a lot of, uh, of racing left to do. And by the way, probably section, certainly section winners left to come in. Probably some divi division uh, winners left to come in, especially in the small boat division, which I'll talk about a little bit more in a second. Um, looks to me like the winds are out of the east in the island. It looks to me like the winds are out of kind of the northeast right here. We've got some um, boats sort of getting to get headed, sorry, headed down. Um, so they are sort of uh, sailing in the wind out of this direction right here, uh, or maybe this direction a little bit more sort of east-northeast. Uh, we've got some boats going this away, which suggests that the, uh, um, they're on starboard tack. Um, and uh, so that tells us that the wind is probably coming from this direction right here. Um, if we look at the observations, it doesn't quite show that, which is a little confusing, but that's the straights to you for you. It shows certainly over here on the east side of the bridge, the wind is out of the east. It's just a little confusing what's going on with the observation versus what we're seeing on the boats on the west side of the bridge. Um, boat speeds here are, you know, solid. Five knots, uh, six knots, um, 7.2 knots. Some of the big boats, 6.4 knots, 7.4. But check it out when we get back here. 5.0, 4.3, 4.9, 2.3, 3.6, slower speeds. Um, and again, if we look at our observation, it's really consistent that we've got more wind kind of in the straits here, maybe even accelerating a little bit. Who knows? As you know, the wind comes out of the east through the straits, it sometimes gets kind of tucked in there and accelerates. And we've got wind in the middle of the lake, 15 knots there at the mid lake boy, but we got nothing here on the shore. And that's something we talked about yesterday in the forecast was how light the winds were going to be up in this area. So that seems to be coming into fruition and it's going to be a lot of work for the guys to to make it up here and then get into the um, into the bridge. Mainly this part is just gonna stink with you know the light winds that we have right now. Um, speaking of like how many people have finished the race, um, this is the results page, which you can get by going to the Race to Mackinac homepage, you go about the race. I'll just go to it real quick for you guys. And you go results. And I'm looking at results by division. And just counting up real quick, we've got in the big boat section, 63 boats who finished. In the cruising division, 32 boats who finished. And then we had five in the small boat section and five in the multi-house section. So that's about 110. I think we had about 270 starting the race. So we got a lot of racing left to do. And in particular, okay, we know what our section winner is for J109. We know what our uh, section winner is for Beneteau 36.7. We don't know, and for section seven, we don't know a lot of the other section winners here. Um, and honestly, section seven could be beaten on handicap later on. Uh, we don't even know that for, for madcap. Uh, best of luck to them. I know people are on and around that boat, but, uh, but we don't know that yet. The um, other thing is that likely our division winner for the small cup, for small boat, it, not likely, maybe our division winner for the small boats is out there on the race course still. So there's a lot of racing left to do um, and a lot of racing that happens in this stretch right here, I cannot tell you how many times I personally have had my heart broken or broken someone else's heart in the last 20 miles of the race, either between the Gray's Reef and the bridge or the bridge and the finish. It is a uh, incredible uh, amount of passing that goes on there. And I urge everyone to really keep a close eye on the race for the majority of the racers that are still out there. Uh, last note, weather-wise, we're expecting some thunderstorms, maybe sporadic this evening, maybe around 10 o'clock, something like that. Um, and right now there's a stronger looking line of thunderstorms over Minnesota. At this time, we don't think that they're gonna make it to the race course, but certainly, you know, we're just kind of watching this for shower and thunderstorm activity as the night wears on. Okay, thanks very much. Look forward to your questions and comments and have a great night.